What's going on everyone? Peach Out here and we got an unboxing. Yeah, live unboxing. I just got this in today from a company called Silicone Intakes online. They make some really, really cool um, universal kits and this kit right here is was purchased because of you guys. You guys voted for this to be purchased. So we bought it because it was the uh, uh, one 1% by I think one or two votes this one. So we bought it and we're gonna be doing um, an unboxing for this. So we're gonna show you what we got in the mail today. Big box, I mean this is a pretty big box. It's about two feet wide by like almost a foot and a half tall. So let's uh, let's open it up and see what we got. What's going on, Dub Invasion? So I don't have a box cutter. So I just got this convenient snips right here, and it works. So, oh man, it's got popcorn in it. So. Uh, let's see, we got that, that, okay. Oh man, that's a decent amount of stuff that came in. I'm excited, I'm excited. <laughs> Again, this is for the Corrado. This is not for anything else, so get excited, guys. First things first is this right here. Let's see what this is. It's heavy, this is a heavy little guy. Oh, oh. Lines just fell out. All right, so this is a heat exchanger. So hopefully you guys know what I'm opening it up yet right now. But this is a what we call a heat exchanger. Okay, not an oil cooler. All right, this is not an oil cooler, by the way. Looks like one, but it's not. And then, man, this is the finish on this is legit. This is not cheap. I am impressed. This is very, very nice. Look at that, nice single bent fin on this. Oh, oh there's one, and that's because of my finger. <laughs> this is nice. And it's uh, AN10, so you can see AN10 fittings right here. So very, very nice. So that's the first, first part. Set this aside. And again, this is not a not a oil cooler. It's called a heat exchanger. It can be used for oil, though, for sure. It can. Let's see here. What is this big one? Ooh, this is a reservoir. Let's uh, that's a Shaman equipment reservoir. Oh, look at that. Now that looks pretty. Whew, and it's already nicely wrapped. We're gonna, we're gonna, oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh. Look at this bad boy. Now that's nice. So it's got plugs here if we don't need to use all of them. And then it's got a little top on here. So you fill it up. Can you guys guess what this is? Can you guys guess what this is yet? While you guys are looking, just so you guys know, I know what it is because I bought it. <laughs> okay. Nope, not water meth. Woo, let's see what the next box is. Alright, so it's a 7 inch fan. This is for the heat exchanger. A beefy little fan, geez. So we're gonna have to get a relay set up for this. 
so that way we don't damage it. Um, so we're going to learn how to run a, re a relay and we're going to use a thermostatic uh, setup for this one too. So we're going to do something cool with this. But yeah, pretty dope. 7 inch fan for the uh, for the little heat exchanger. I'm not going to open up the big box yet until I get to that. So here's the pump for it. Uh, 500 gallons an hour. Uh, or 1,890 liters per hour. Uh, this is the uh, the pump they're going to be uh, wiring up to it. Just so you guys can see that. There you go. That's right. Water to air. I'm feeling good, buddy. I'm feeling good, man whore. Um, so that's our pump for it. So this is what's going to pump all the water or coolant, depending on how we're going to do it. Um, so just so you guys can see that, it's pretty dope. What's over here? Okay. There we go. We got our little filler here. This is our filler neck. Nicely uh, done. That's got a really nice peg cock. I mean, everything's nice on this, man. I love it. I'm loving the way this looks. I uh, can't wait to actually set this all up. So this is really nice aluminum. And last but not least, right here. Look at this little bad boy right there. This is the intercooler they're going to be using. See that? This is an intercooler, guys. And it's not your traditional intercooler. This is all water cooled. So, water goes through this block right here. And air goes right through here. The water cools, super cools the air. And then uh, comes right out and goes right into your uh, throttle body. One of the coolest things about water to air intercoolers, number one, is they're very small. You see this? Okay. Now, the reason why we have this and the other tank, this tank right here is an ice box. You fill this literally fill it up with ice and water and you run it into your water to air intercooler so you can super cool your water. So uh yeah, that's what this is for. <laughs> so if you guys ever seen one of these, this is super dope. So we're gonna learn how to plumb this into the uh the trunk of the uh the Corrado. We're gonna plumb this. Uh, I'm gonna set it up where I can do a bypass so if I don't have to rock this all the time, uh, it is not necessary to have on. So we'll run a bypass valve so it just turns it off and just loop it like normal. So yeah, this, what you do again, you fill it up with ice. Inside of this and you go, you go have fun with this. And you make some boost and you get some super cold boost. Um, again, that's for like doing some drags or some fun short runs. It's not for long-term use. Um, so, one thing that you are going to see, this intercooler, since it's so tiny, um, there's literally almost zero boost loss to this, just so you guys know. Uh, you get a one to two, maybe one PSI drop. For such a tiny little intercooler. Um, uh, Rob, I'm feeling good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I uh, definitely appreciate the concerns, guys. I'm feeling feeling really good, and I'm back at it, man. I'm back at it and back at doing some fun stuff. So, this whole kit was uh, just a little under 500 bucks. Everything we need, 
besides intercooler piping and lines. Uh, this is everything we need to get started. Uh, you're looking about another hundred bucks, maybe another two hundred bucks to get the lines that we need, uh, coolant lines. Um, obviously we're going to do it really nicely so we're going to do some nice hard lines. Um, and then what's really cool, we got simple, simple mounting uh, right here on the sides so we'd be able to design a bracket to go underneath and mount to the, uh, to the inside of the car. But yeah, this is the, uh, this is the, the project that we got for the Corrado. Uh, Dub Invasion, where I'm going to get the fittings and lines from. Um, I'm actually going to get them from my, uh, from, uh, from, uh, uh, geez, sorry, excuse me. Um, from uh, Paradise Motorsports is where they build all my oil lines and uh, my fuel lines. They make all these lines for uh, custom made there. So, 